to undo or go back in history, kind of go back in time um, as you're editing Im images. Um, in real life, obviously, you can't go back in time, but fortunately in Photoshop, you can because you have a tendency to mess things up a lot. Um, so the first thing you can do is that you can always go and undo state change. Um, that just undoes one step. Uh, but look at the following image. There is something underneath this blue blurb. Um, there are two ways to get rid of it. One, I can step backwards. And this, edit, step backwards. Each time I click it, it just goes back a step. Um, now, there's another thing called the history, which I can access right here. Um, those of you who have an old version of Photoshop, your history won't be right here. You can go to Window, and you'll see your history. You select it, and you can see every single action. So if I go all the way up to the top of my history, let's see, there we go. You can see that I can keep looking at my image at different points, different things that I did each step. I prefer history to step backwards because I can get really detailed as far as how far back I can go. Um, but I do this whenever I mess things up. So you don't have to so much worry about messing things up each time you take a pen to your image. You can always undo it. Um, but keep in mind when you save versions and stuff, you are going to start to uh, mess, actually mess things up, which is why we use just layers, which is in the next thing we're going to discuss. Um, but first, for history, this is how you go back. History, remember, it's this button. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, Window, History. Thank you.